In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on the normal form or perpendicular form of a line. Alright, here we are. We've got the question here which reads like this. It says the length of the perpendicular from the origin to a line is 7 and the line makes an angle of 150 degrees with a positive direction of y axis. Find the equation of the line. So now the most important change in this problem is that the line makes an angle of 150 degrees with a positive direction of y axis. So, but we need the angle that the perpendicular makes with the x axis. So, let's see how do we find that. So, let's have a pictorial representation. So, this is y axis, this is x axis, and then we've got this line which makes an angle of 150 degrees with a y axis. And the perpendicular is here like this, which measures 7. So it will be a right angle here. We need this angle, which is alpha, right? So how do we find that? It's not very difficult. Now, let's find this green part of the angle. If this is 150 degrees, this entire thing is 180. So this should be 30 degrees. If this is 30, we know that this is 90. So in a triangle, the sum of the angles is equal to 180 degrees. So if this is 30, this is 90, this will be... 60 degrees if this is 60 this entire angle is a right angle right so this will be 30 degrees so we found alpha to be equal to 30 degrees so we have the alpha and we have the length of the perpendicular and so the problem is 99 percent done because we just have to substitute the values of alpha and p in this equation which is x cosine of alpha plus y sine of alpha equals p so it'll be x cos 30 degrees plus y sine 30 degrees equal to 7, which will be equal to th cos, thir th cos 30 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2. So it will be x times root 3 by 2 plus y times half equals 7. So to get rid of the 2 in the denominator, multiply the entire equation by 2. So you get root 3x plus y equals 14. So the equation of the line in question is root 3 times x plus y equals 14. Alright, so that ends this problem as well as this video. Uh, well, not the video maybe because let me quickly briefly explain you how we did this problem because there were not direct datas. Only the P was direct, but alpha we had to find it, right? So this is how you find it. So you just analyze the problem and they are told that the line that we are talking about makes an angle of 150 degrees with the y-axis. So if that is the case, then you know, next find this angle, you know that this makes a right angle triangle, and then find this, you know that this is the right angle, so find 30. So finally, you have to find alpha, and once you find alpha, it's done. All right, so that ends this video now. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with uh, more problems and concepts based on straight lines.